Hello, viewers. This is Gamer Zach. Welcome back for more of Legend of Zelda: The Wind Waker. Last time, we assembled the Triforce of Courage so that we may gain access to Hyrule. The reason we're in Hyrule is because Ganon has not shown himself since we fully powered up the Master Sword. And now the King of Atlantis is concerned for Zelda's safety, so this time we're actually gonna go check on her. So as you go in, you're gonna notice. Stuff has been screwed up. The Hero of Time statue is all broken. The shield's right here, half of the sword. So yeah, this this place is in shambles. So let's go to Zelda's chamber. Now watch this. Cutscene in midair! That was amazing. So we see that she's fine, right? Nope. That always happens to us. All the cute ones turn out to be figments of our imagination. Oh well. You have deceived yourself! Did you think you'd be safe inside the castle? Foolish! Now that my power has been restored, there is no safe haven for you! I have taken your precious Zelda! And here, you shall fall into eternal slumber! And here come... Mighty Dark Nuts. Great. Instead they have capes, so we have to slash our, the back of them twice to get rid of our, their armor. So that's the, really the only difference. So let's do this. Yay! I made a dent in their capes, which are probably made of like steel or something. Yay! That's gone! Let's get out our boomerang and wail at them! Let's get this one now! Okay, there's something that's really weird. Oh, look at that. Is it? They have goatees and their skin is red. That's kind of really strange. I don't know if they're supposed to represent like the devil or something, but... Seriously, look at, look at their goatees. Oh, God. Die! Die! You are... You shall not live! As long as I'm in charge, you shall die! You shall no longer have life when I'm in this building. So, you know, you get a bunch of rewards that aren't really going to do much for you because we're never going to need rupees again. This is the final area. Something I wanted to show you real quick. See all these stained glass windows? So you see uh, Princess Ruto behind here. These are all the sages from Ocarina of Time. There's Princess Rudo, there's Rao, there's Saria, there's Darian, there's Impa. I don't remember this one's name, but I thought it was kind of cool that they did that. Anyway, let's get back to the story. OMG, Zelda's been kidnapped for like the umpteenth time. We must save her. So let's find out where she is by activating a little cutscene. Here we go. So it's it's urging us to go, to cross this bridge, but watch what happens when we try to cross the bridge. Denied. Yep. But guess what? The master sword has security clearance to get through this door. Yep. Just by cutting the air. We have caused this wall to solidify and shatter on command. And the glass ends up nowhere. Like, literally, watch this. Look at it. The glass is nowhere to be found. Huh. I wonder why that is. Oh, I, I know why. It's because it makes too much sense. That's why. So anyway, this is a little road to the final dungeon of the game. Which is actually really short, so the final dungeon is actually a little anticlimactic just because it's short and for another reason, as I'll get into once we get further into it. Which will definitely be within this episode, but I'll tell you what it is. So let's just rush over there. Some moblins to kill. If I can kill them in the first place, there we go. And now let's kill another moblin, shall we? 
I love killing. Killing is fun. No, kids, do not listen to whatever I say. Because if you do, you'll get in a lot of trouble with your mommies and daddies. No! No, 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 Die, 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 die. I, will I shall kill you with this boomerang. No, not with the sword. The sword's more fun. I'm gonna kill you with your sword. That, I, that's what I'm gonna do. Oh, what is helmets protect? <sighs> there, you can fall to your death. So this bridge is broken. Luckily, there are these hookshot posts that were here for no reason. So let's ignore these keys and move on. And this is the entrance to the final dungeon. We're already here. Th th this this came and went. Here it is. So let's enter without haste. Let's roll. Can you let me roll up the stairs for once? Seriously, we're like three episodes away from the finale and you can't let me roll up a set of stairs. This is it. Ganon's Tower. This first room isn't really that hard. It's just very time consuming. I'll show you what I mean by that. If you go to the door directly across from you, you are going to notice some etchings on it. See, you have uh, Goma, Kaleidemos, Jahara, Mulgara. You gotta fight them again! Yeah! And instead of like Mega Man where they're actually still a challenge, th they are the same exact as what they were before. So they're- so Kalei Mose and Goma are made weaker because you have the Master Sword this time. So yeah, like, th that's another reason this why this dungeon is so anticlimactic. So we're gonna go after Goma first. We're gonna go after them in the order that we defeated them throughout the LP. This first room. Hey. I've had fun with this room. You want to have your grappling hook, your Deku leaf, and your arrows. You want to set your arrows to ice. There we go. You actually don't need the grappling hook. It's just recommended. But what you can actually do is you can glide over to that last platform in the lava over there. Then make yourself some platforms with the ice arrows. Like so. Here we go, let's hop over quickly. Hurry! Yes! Speed running tactics! Success! And here we are. We can ignore these two bubbles and move on. And this is the room where we're gonna fight Goma. And yes, there's a little room where you that's reminiscent of the dungeon they were in that you have to get through, just like the one before. If I to explain that. So the music's all messed up, everything's in black and white, and you gotta fight this guy again! Another thing I should mention! You are limited to the items you had. When you were fighting him, so you definitely want your grappling hook and... What? Okay, this I just noticed. You're limited to the amount of rupees you could hit the hold at the time. Look at I'm cut down to 200 rupees. Look at <laughs> I never noticed that! Oh my gosh! So you want to grab onto Velu's tail as per usual. Which is kind of confusing because I don't know how Velu's tail ended up in Ganon's tower, but it did. Best thing you can do in this dungeon, or this boss fight, is to land in these platforms like I told you last time. Because they will protect you and let you grab on to Velu's tail again easier. So you just want to make the ground around Velu's tail, drop on Goma's armor three times, then it'll be exposed so that you can actually kill him. Or her, because it's Queen Goma. So let's do it! I just love these remixes for, for the bosses in this game. Man. They are, they are amazing. Oh, I landed on the pl- I grabbed onto the ledge! Oh my gosh, I grabbed onto the ledge! That was- that's amazing! Oh my gosh! I didn't know you could do that! I'm discovering a lot of things today. Uh, uh, wow. So if you could get off, I'm going to gla gladly grab onto the loose tail and then shatter your armor entirely thank you very much thank you for dying uh, I didn't grab onto the ledge well, well it doesn't matter anymore remember and upon that its armor is gonna break and one con and a combo or two should actually kill him because he's that weak to the master sword let's do it we can't use a combo on him because he'll just pull his eye away no matter what. Let's bring his eye over here! Oh! 
that's it. Yes. That is how quickly these bosses go down. Which is why I'm not putting the enemy vial up, because we already put them up in the episodes. So that is just how it is going to work. Yes. So, let's just destroy this thing. And then we are going to go into Kalei Deimos' room. All you really need for this one room is the Deku Leaf. Let's put it on Z because I'm used to having it on Z. And come on. Let's jump onto here. Pull this backwards. And there we go. Let's get onto here via the the, 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 okay, 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 okay. Good, good, good. Okay, you didn't fall off. As long as you don't fall off, you can do whatever you want, Link, as long as you don't die. So hopefully you have enough magic because the devil magic is going to help you out a lot in this area. <laughs> Why? At least there's some magic in here. Oh, give me magic. Hearts, I have full health. Yay, magic. Let's wait for this. I'm going to see you once I am back where I was. Okay, back to where I was. All you have to do from there is just Deku Leaf over to this. As long as the P hats don't hit you, please don't hit me. Okay, you hit me onto the ledge. Okay, I don't, I don't hate your soul. There. Does that make you happy that I don't hate your soul? Okay, I have to leave now. Bye bye. Probably gonna forget about you within the next five minutes or so. But anyway, we have a fight with Kalei Deimos. Let's do this. All you need is the boomerang, so this incredibly easy boss is made even easier. No, if you lose, if you use the elixir soup on him, you could kill this boss in one combo. So yes, this incredibly easy boss is made even easier through the master sword and the elixir soup, which are both inaccessible items when you fought this creature. So let's do this. Before he can swallow me up and do a whole heart of damage, I kill him. Yes, that is exactly what I like to talk about on a regular basis. Yes. So now let's go to the room with Jahala or the Earth Temple room, which I believe this is the Earth Temple room if I am not mistaken. Let's see. If it's not, if it's the Wind Temple room, I'll take it. Oh, it is the Earth Temple room. So you just want to roll, 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 don't get hit, roll, 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 roll. There Why can't I roll up a set of stairs for once in this whole game? Why? Huh? You want to roll again, roll, 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 and roll. That's how you want to do this. Roll some more. Then what you want to do, this is a switch you have to hold down. So you want to get one of these purple chew jelly guys. Put them on this switch. Which will allow us to go up. You're kidding! So now I gotta hurry up. I mean... Oh god! Oh! I didn't mean to do that! No! You're gonna die because of that! I don't care if it's not your fault. I made it your fault. How does that feel? Let's get him. Can you come out of hiding? Let's grab him. Put him on the sw This is really aggravating me right now. Let's roll, roll, roll as if our lives depend on it. There we are. Now this one's even more difficult. 
for a roll, get hit, roll, 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 roll. Some light over here, it's basically the same thing except the light's over here, so you gotta rush even, even quicker. Um, there should be one way over there, um... Oh, great. You know what, maybe I'll just use this one. Oh, great, nope, I can't. I have to do the... Oh, yeah, there, there we go, yeah. The stone just melts off of them for no reason. Never really understood that too much, but... Oh, well. Can I look at the screen regularly, please? No, ah! Really annoying the crap out of me! No, I'll just take him, unless if he starts wobbling. If he starts wobbling, I'll throw him like I'm a scared little girl. Let's put him on there, and roll! 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 Oh, what the- <laughs> Disintegrates like two seconds later! Yeah, I'm gonna have a very fun time with this. Let's get him over there. Okay, good, good, good. Go run, 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 run! Run like... Roll like you have never rolled before! Roll like Sonic the Hedgehog! Even though he hates you forever. Because you are way too slow. And this is the most jerkest thing ever. Stalfos! Right here. If you can rush past him, that's great. Because sometimes you can't because that cinematic takes too long and the stairs go back up. Which is very jerkish. But it doesn't matter. We're in Jahala's room. We've done it. Okay. Say, I put you in exactly how many rupees you had during that fight. Which is kind of nice. I like that a lot. You don't need any items for this. All you need is the mirror shield, which is already equipped to you. Charge up! Hurricane spin like I showed you, which is an awesome strategy. You can only kill as many as five within a round. So on to round two with this thing. So yes, this boss is still... It's actually even easier because you have a lot more hearts if you've been following my walkthrough. You'd have a ton more hearts. And he's shooting black fire at me. Wow. They couldn't at least color in the fire. Man, upon fighting this guy a second time, I've just realized how awesome this music is. Especially the remake of it. I swear, these remakes are just the most epic thing since Epic Meal Time. No, 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 no. I'm not gonna bring Epic Meal Time into this. So I know a lot of people like it. I've never really watched too many episodes of it. Surprised I even included that in one of my episodes. Wow. Never thought that was ever going to happen, ever. Ever. So, one more round. Gonna have a ton of rupees, of course. While he's breathing fire. Let the this might be the thing that's a little, a little harder about the other one. I don't know, but the, I think the light changes a bit more frequently in these free matches. So let's do that. And one last hurricane spin for the win! One, two, three, four. Oh, come on! You're kidding me! Die! There! Huh? Is that better? That's what I thought. You couldn't let me get that last one within that hurricane spin. Now, you just had to, to ruin the epicness of the fight. You just had to. You had no other choice. You were forced to by unknown forces. I will find those unknown forces and kill them all! <coughs> Let's go through here. I don't know why I cough so much. I haven't been doing that recently. Probably because I've been cutting them out. Here it is, the Wind Temple, and oh, what's wrong? I spoke too soon. You want this, you want this, and you want the Iron Brutes, so I'm just gonna get rid of the thingy. Yeah, get rid of the thingy. That sounds very intelligible. Oh my. It's really aggravating me. So you just gotta, just gotta go across this chasm. After that, you just want to kill these guys 
And come on, die. Would you please die? Because I only have so much more time. Seriously, I've been recording for 21 minutes with only one cut that was about a minute long. My commentary is starting to get old after 19 minutes straight. I can assure you that. So here we are, Volgara's room. <laughs> Remember? Remember how difficult this guy is? Yeah, this guy is quite difficult, I will admit. So let's go on in! Let's fight him! He's just gonna pop up here. You wanna get out your hook shot? And here he is! Again, it doesn't matter if you have the elixir soup or not. So now he's gonna spit out his, her, it babies. So let's kill some. Oh, come on, run, 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 run! No, 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 no! Oh my gosh, I just narrowly dodged that. Oh my gosh. Oh god, are you serious? So yes, that is what happens when you get eaten by Mulgaria. That animation happens and you take two whole hearts of damage. Yeah, not too fun. Oh my gosh. I can't even lock on to Mulgaria because of its annoying little babies. And I just got eaten again. See, this is why Mulgaria is so difficult. Hey, hey, hey. Come on! This is dragging on! I just want to get this over with. This is the last room. Come on. Die, die, die. I know about this glitch. Like you can just keep hookshotting Mogira's tongue. It'll go like all, I can go like all the way across the room, which I thought was kind of funny. So where's it going? Oh, it's going to go into the sky. Great run. How can I run? Oh god! That would not be very good if that happened. Come on, where are you? Oh, you're over there now. Great. Way to lie, Nintendo! Why can't I hook shot up to you? That was cheap! Moving your tongue around and then eating me like that. That was cheap. I don't understand why you don't just swallow me to maximize the damage. No, that would make way too much sense. Oh my gosh, these annoying little brats of Mulgaras are not letting me L-target onto Mulgara herself, or itself, or himself, whatever. I'm so aggravated over this, I can't even tell what's going on right now. So babies die. Oh my gosh, get back over here, there. There! Let me kill you. Great! More children! That's just what I needed. Ay ay ay. Alright, where's it going? Oh god! Run! Um, I can't even tell what's going on right now! I'm scared for my life! Oh my gosh, for the love of Bulbasaur, can I please kill you without getting eaten and losing half of my- What do I have for- oh, just that one fairy grave. I'm sorry if I'm getting way too aggravated over this, I know it's very unprofessional, but- Seriously, I can't even tell what's going on! And I can't attack its babies because the, mo the mother will just eat me. I don't know why I'm sucking even more at this. Come on, die! I must kill the babies, I don't care how wrong that sounds. And this, sh I d this better be it! There, good. It's done! Now we can go back to being less angry about things.
Because anger isn't good. It's not very good for your health. There we go. Sorry I had to make you endure that. And upon doing that, the door gets so angry that it explodes. I wonder whose skull that is hanging on the door. That must be like a great honor to have your skull hanging on one of Ganon's doors. But it's been a while. This episode's been going on for quite a bit of time. So I think I'm going to end it off right here and right now. So next time on The Legend of Zelda the Wind Waker, we're going to further progress through Ganon's tower. So without further ado, I say to you, stay tuned.